There's a world where power can flow above and below and a world where power can flow side by side. And, and just to make that a little bit more concrete, when we look at plants, when we look at society's relationships with food growing, I'm from Oxnard, and if maybe you've driven through, you've seen the fields, right? All the agricultural fields. And the fields are all perfect rows and they all have one crop, they're monocrops. And that crop has to look the same, be the same size to be efficient in cutting and Carrots have to be the same size so that schools can accept them so that they can be cut through their machines. So like, it's about creating sameness in the food, in the way that food is grown, and also competing. That's why there's all this herbicide and pesticide. Every other life around that plant is understood as a competitor, and so they have to be killed. They have to be cited. In distinction to this type of food growing is the milpa, the three sisters, the Native American way of growing corn, beans, and squash together. Three very, very different plants. Talk about difference. This is an example of we're powerful because of our difference, not in spite of our difference, and I'll illustrate. The milpa with the maiz, with the corn, the stalk is very, very long. That's like the centerpiece of the Maya. The Maya are people of the Mayas. A lot of Native people understand that as a symbiotic being. To plant corn, maize takes a lot of nutrition from the soil. The milpa also has beans. And beans need a trellis for support. And the tall corn stalk supports the beans. And what does the bean do? The bean's superpower is to get from the air, magically, nitrogen, and fixes it in the soil. So the nutrition that the corn extracts, the beans help put back in. They support each other. And then there's the squash. The squash is a low-lying, crawling plant with really big leaves that cover the soil to protect the soil. So the corn is known as the leader, the beans are known as the giver, and the squash as a protector. Everybody has their role, kind of like this camp, right? Kind of like these struggles, everybody's got their role. That's an example of cooperation and difference being a power, not a weakness. That is closer to the worldview of struggles like the Zapatistas and many other Native American traditions and struggles today. 